What's going on guys, Aldrin Astacio here with FlightPath.com. Now in this video I'm going to talk to you guys just quickly about the A6400. Now there's been a ton of videos, ton of influencers, ton of people out there already that have videos about this, you know, the best ways that they use it, the likes and dislikes about it. I just want to kind of share with you because as I start getting more and more products, I don't really consider myself a filmmaker. I consider myself more as a person that just likes to document events, document people, document life. That's kind of the way I've always position myself. I never looked at myself as like a professional filmmaker and I don't consider myself at all one. Uh, but I do consider myself just a person that wants to document everything and that's something I've been doing for a very long time now. So when it came down to doing other videos like other tech videos, uh, camera videos, I don't really try to get too consumed about every single camera out there. At the same time as I've been doing more and more YouTube videos, more editing on the video side, um, I definitely want to kind of share with some of the, I, I would say maybe a smaller percentage of my audience that might be interested in just knowing what I shoot with to kind of make these videos. I'm actually shooting with my a7 III. I was actually a long time Nikon shooter when I did a lot of my still photography. I started out actually with a Nikon D100, worked my way all the way up to, I ended up with a Nikon, you know, the, the 200, 300, all the way up to the D600. I didn't get into the 800s or the D3s, D4s and stuff like that, but I did move up to like the D600, which is still a full frame camera but of course meant for stills uh and i ended up you know kind of selling off all my nikon gear all of my lenses everything and moved over to the sony platform only because i started doing a lot more youtube and i wanted more of that hybrid system and trust me when it comes to gear uh I, I've, I've definitely gone through that phase of where i felt like i needed to have every single product that came out on the market uh, when I shot a lot of photos and still photography, I pretty much wanted and tried almost everything. I did, you know, the, all the weddings, the families, the babies, the strobus types of shots, all the creative stuff like that. So I've definitely done a lot of that stuff. But at the end of the day, it's it, you end up having so much gear that um, you just not end up not bringing a lot of it or you kind of phase it out of like the style you want to get into. So when it came down to especially doing YouTube videos, I really wanted to try going as far as I could with uh, this is the equipment I had, right? I wanted to kind of keep things as simple as, as I could. And if you guys haven't seen one of my previous videos about just like the YouTube basics, I really just used a Canon G7X and my phone for the first year of YouTube, or at least the first serious year of YouTube. Uh, and then I finally jumped into something like this, which is the a7 III, and then recently now picked up the a6400. So I just want to kind of share with you guys just, you know, my experiences with the cameras. Um, and the reason why I picked this up is really because I had a setup at home, I do have a setup at home, which I'm talking to you right now. Um, and when I want to do something more of like a, you know, pseudo studio style setup, I would have everything set up. And then if I did have to go outside or did want to do some other shoots or B-rolls or anything like that, I then have to disassemble my whole rig and then ideally try to come back and set it back up if I wanted to kind of finish out or do my next video, try to put everything back into the same place. Uh, same lighting and everything, but as you guys know, or if you guys don't know, uh, when you do and only have one camera at the moment, uh, besides my G7X, it just makes things uh, very, very complicated to try to, you know, put everything back into a setup again. So the main reason why I picked up something like this is because I'm already in the Sony ecosystem. I have a few full frame lenses, so of course I just, this isn't a full frame camera, but I wanted to stay within that ecosystem mainly because of picture profiles and things like that. So this video is not really a full review yet about this type of camera. There's definitely a ton of reviews out there and I will put down below some links of some of my favorite reviews on the 6400. There's definitely a lot of people that have done it, that got the pre-release or at least went to Catalina to do that uh, whole, you know, influencer uh, kind of test run on the 6400. So there's a ton of people that have videos about it as well as, as well as like first looks and things like that. These are starting to hit the market now. So I just wanted to quickly do an unboxing because I haven't really seen anyone do the unboxing as far as like the kit lens with the 16 to 50. And the reason why I went with a kit lens for now is because I don't own any APS-C lenses. I of course do want to invest in some better glass. The kit lenses are great just to kind of get you going. But I already invested a lot of stuff into my a7 III with the Tamron 28 to 75 as well as the 16 to 35 f4 which I'm shooting on right now. So eventually of course I'm gonna be getting some lenses for this but 
I just wanted to get it going and kind of start using it, seeing what I liked and didn't like about it, and of course making the lens determination when I felt there's a need for it or, or if I felt like I was missing something where I'm gonna have to have a specific type of lens. Now this one is runs about $9.95. Uh, if you buy the body alone, it runs $8.95, so I mean 100 bucks. I just wanted to get a lens. Of course, this isn't gonna be like some any spectacular lens. Kit lenses, as we know, aren't the fastest, they aren't the, necessarily the best. But like I said, I already have you know invested in my lenses for my a7 III. So I wanna see how I use the camera first before I start jumping into specific types of lenses. Uh, didn't wanna buy anything right off the bat just you know, in case I felt like I didn't, might not have needed it at that point. So as we open it up here at the very top, we just have some paperwork. Before we get to the camera, let's open up the other things. And so we have a little Sony strap battery, which is of course the NP50. USB charger, eyepiece, just a cable, so a charging cable. And it looks like the lens already comes on the body itself. All right, so here it is, the A6400. This is the one with the 3.5 to 5.6, 16 to 50 lens. This is the more of the budget kit lens that uh, you're able to purchase. So here it is right here. And then we have this flip up screen that comes out just like that. Kind of has this double hinge action, which is seems interesting. I always try to level up my production value, you know, in increments a little bit every single time, a little bit every single video. So as I do that, um, you know, it might sacrifice the timing of some of my videos, but I think in the long term, I uh, definitely will level up, you know, just the production value of it, just because I want to be able to kind of show and showcase some of these products in a better light, in a, in a better way, as I start doing these videos. So there it is, guys, a quick video on the A6400, just a quick unboxing, showing you exactly what's in the kit lens. I haven't really seen anybody talk about the kit lens because most people don't buy the kit lens. So I definitely wanna start sharing some of the other types of equipment that I use when I'm out in the field, especially when I'm shooting some of my drone vlogs or other tips and tutorials. I am shooting with another camera most of the time. So I do wanna expose some of you guys to that because I know there's some of you that have asked me as well as a couple of people are just interested in some of the other types of gear that are out there that I might be using. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'll definitely leave some links down below of some 6400 reviews and videos that go into you know a ton of detail, a lot more in depth. Uh, this isn't a review, this is just a quick unboxing of this uh, kit lens that I was able to pick up. As always, if you guys got some value for my video, don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Alger Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.